Well, good morning. Pat here. Uh, Pat Zemer here with MagnaWay for office hours. Uh, we weren't on last week because we were moving and we're delayed this week because uh, didn't have we're working on the internet connections and there are some issues with one of the computers and uh, getting that one up on the internet. But we're here and uh, we're live and I'm glad to be here with you. If you have any questions, uh, simply put them into the uh, in the message board and we'll take a look at them. Uh, all of my screens aren't up, so I'm going to need to make a change into how I see those questions. I wonder why that's not working. Um, but at any rate, if you have a question, uh, just post it on the uh, chat box underneath here. And let me pull up the Facebook um, screen here. And we'll get, boy, what a mess every time you try to get in and do something. And then you have to redo it. Let me go over here. I'm sorry, really. Uh, tried to have all this ready. Computer wasn't working. Now we're going to be back. If it'll load. Okay, so there we are. Let's go to pages. My pages. Okay, so now if you have a question, post it. I'll be able to see your question and answer your question for you and uh, oh, yep there I am we're live uh, good deal if you have any questions um, put them in there and I'd be happy to answer them I do have a couple of questions that have come up over the last week I'd be happy to uh, take a look and answer them at this point um, one of the question is a relief of Lyme disease pain and we've uh, covered this quite a bit in these uh, various programs, but it is very effective uh, for Lyme disease. Uh, we've had a lot of people get very good results uh, using this type of procedure for Lyme disease. Basically what we do is we treat the area uh, where they're feeling pain. Lyme disease will affect one person in the abdomen, someone else in the low back, and it's just how wherever it centers in the body and has a tendency to move from time to time. Over the years, we've had people purchase machines solely uh, for the purpose of treating their particular Lyme disease. Some people have to treat the area or treat their overall body continually, uh, i.e. once or twice a week or every day, whatever works best for them. Others are able to treat themselves a number of times or once or twice and bingo, it relieves uh, the situation and they don't necessarily uh, have a continual reoccurrence. So uh, very effective, uh, used quite a bit by folks who, who do that. So uh, if you have a question about that, you can talk to your doctor, <clears throat> give us a call here. We'll put you in contact with someone and help you get those particular uh, questions answered uh, should you have them. And let's see any other. Uh, good morning, Amanda. Thank you for joining me this morning. Again, if you have any questions, uh, put them into the chat box. I did receive a question yesterday. Uh, this article is uh, traveling around the internet as it has since, I don't know, back in 96 or something, talking about PEMF and the dangers of PEMF and specifically calling out machines and saying what, what has happened using the machines and, and people have all types of questions with regard to that. And probably the easiest way to answer that, that question, number one, the MagnaWave or the PEMF modality the PMF modality is FDA approved for several uses, incontinence, migraines, um, um, autism. Um, uh, now they have a unit that they wear for glioblastoma brain tumor. So they're set non-union fractures. There's several different modalities of PEMF that have been FDA approved and a couple of them are uh, high, high voltage, low frequency types of devices and the manufacturer of our digital devices is in fact working on uh, FDA approval and has doing studies. We have done studies with our equipment. But now to kind of put all that a little bit at bay is that um, if you stop and look at it, uh, the, the, it's one person asked, is there an, F, an FDA page where I can go and have clarification? The FDA doesn't clarify. The FDA approves something or they restrict something. For example, if someone has supplements uh, that they are, are taking or selling and the FDA decides that those supplements are not safe, they'll take them off the market. They'll tell the people to remove them from the market and, and not sell them any longer. And, and so 
uh, if there are problems in, in my years and in all the years uh, associated with, with PEMF since 2002, uh, to my knowledge, there have never been any enforced uh, uh, problems with PEMF or any PEMF company. Uh, there may be, have been, you know, if you make claims, we can't make claims. We don't make claims about what our equipment does until such time as it is cleared by the FDA for various and sundry uh, for the whatever areas we want to go after for that type of approval. We're working on a study on venous wound healing, we're working on a study with bed sores, we're working on a study dealing with uh, uh, knee pain. Uh, we've done studies in Cuba dealing with knee pain, back pain, and prostate inflammation that, that are all readily available that have been published. Uh, if these things you know, if there was an issue with the FDA, the FDA would come in and tell somebody what they're doing wrong. Uh, for example, I was working with a company that uh, did not uh, several years ago that had some stickering problems uh, on their devices, and the FDA came in and said, you know, you got to re-sticker this so it better explains uh, what you're doing. They had to change all their manuals, they had to change all their stickers, and it took them several months to do that. Uh, but I've never seen a situation, they talked about the machines being banned in the United States, and they've never been banned. Uh, they are uh, non-invasive, uh, considered class uh, one or two uh, devices uh, by the FDA, meaning they're off-the-shelf off the shelf types of devices. And so uh, you won't find a page in the FDA clarifying that, but you also won't find anything in the FDA that says anything is banned or outlawed at, at this particular time. And so the best way to approach that, what I've always said, people have come up and said, well, we heard it did this. And I always say, do you have documentation? You know, do, do you have something that says what happened, that someone can verify what happened? And certainly if that something would bad happen, you'd want to fix it or you'd want to make sure that it didn't happen again, whatever those types of situations uh, may be. And there's nothing out there. There has been nothing out there for over 25 or 30 years uh, with regard to this type of, of application. And so, yes, the articles circulate the Internet. Yes, I have posted them uh, on this site and other sites that deal with the answers to those questions, and they're readily available. Someone said, well, MagnaWay will say what they want to say just to protect themselves. That, if That's not the case. There's, there's nothing at this point. You know, I'm, I'm you know, knocking on wood that there are no issues, there are no problems, but there's, there's nothing out there uh, with the proliferation of PEMF companies today and the number of times that it is approved by the FDA for various uh, conditions and various things for anyone to, to question that. So I just wanted to cover that. Uh, it's brought up and, and we're certainly willing to talk about it. If you have a specific question about it, uh, please uh, give me a call. Or I, I, I don't have my number to put up. I, I, I could put it up, but I'd be happy to do it, but I don't see my button to put the number up. But or give me a question here in the uh, in the question box, and I'd be happy to to answer it. Let's see if there's any other questions that I can answer at this point in time. Don't see anything else coming up at this point. Let me check my questions here um, that I had earlier. Um, could you tell me about the variance in frequencies? What is the lowest and the highest, and what is the signal adjustable in between? Are there different levels? <clears throat> well, yes, all of our devices are controllable in one way or another. Uh, some control the smallest device, the semi, has a low, medium, and high. Uh, the frequency is the speed of the signal release, and, and they're controllable between that. The analog machines, the spark chamber machines, uh, are, are spring controlled, so you just turn the dial uh, to achieve the clicking speed or the intensity uh, that you're comfortable with, that the client is comfortable with, and set it there and provide the treatment. And, and certainly adjustable in between. The Maya device is adjustable from 1 to 10. So you can put it on 1 being the fastest clicking speed and the lowest intensity, or you can put it on 10, which clicks at about once per second per second, excuse me, which is the highest uh, intensity that we have and the slowest frequency. So someone would say maybe, in, in, but it's, it's just the opposite. That's not necessarily the lowest frequency. The, 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 the highest or the highest frequency is the faster it is, is clicking because it's clicking very fast, but yet that is the lowest 
intensity. So good question, and it is confusing, And people, but people will give you all types of things on various machines. They have different ways of adjusting their power levels or their delivery of energy. Everybody's delivering energy, and it gets pretty easy when you talk about the delivery of energy. We're providing an energy signal that goes into the body, and we want to do it comfortably. And with our high voltage devices, you can feel the delivery of the energy, so you want it to be comfortable. On the low voltage, low frequency devices, you often don't feel anything. So they'll set their, their levels. They might get up to, some of those machines will get up to 50 or maybe even 100 gauss. And on our machines, you're talking uh, 10,000 gauss or better. And so you, you've got a big change there, and so you can regulate it up and down. Uh, but people want to feel it. We deliver energy that can be felt, but we want it to be felt comfortably uh, as it's delivered. So uh, if you have any questions, put them into the box, and I would be happy to, uh, to sign them. Uh, a good thing to do, we have MagnaCon coming up in June. Uh, it's a conference where we get together with doctors and practitioners and, and people to come in and ask questions, people to learn about machines. It's in Louisville, June 13th, 14th, and 15th at the Holiday Inn East. Uh, uh, at this point, uh, Dr. Dennis, the NASA scientist, will be joining us. Dr. Marty Goldstein will be with us. Uh, Dr. John Kressler, Dr. Robin Coleman, Dr. Amanda Myers. Uh, a lot of folks are going to be there. We're going to have all the machines on, on display. So if you want to learn more, uh, Dr. Jerry Dreesen will be with us at the conference. Uh, Dr. Gary Nye. Uh, I'll be there. Other people from our from our company will be there. Aaron, our uh, training director, will be there. So we want to, if you want to learn more, come on out and join us. We have a great time. Uh, Wednesday night is going to be kind of an open house type of thing. Vendors will be there. Thursday we'll have all the speakers uh, presenting their presentations and taking questions. Friday will be hands-on to where we're working with horses, small animals, and people, demonstrating the use of the equipment, how it works. Thursday night, we're going to Churchill Downs uh, for the MagnaWave Classic Race dinner, and, and those who want to participate in the wagering can do that. Friday night, we have a it's Derby Gala this year where we'll have some uh, um, tables for uh, uh, excitement and fun, and so we'll be doing all of that type of wagering, uh, Derby Gala, at our uh, Friday night event. So if you want to have some fun and learn about PEMF, come on out to MagnaCon June 13th, 14th, or 15th. Go to our website, magnawavepemf.com, and uh, take a look and register. You can also register right here on the page and uh, learn more about it. Let's see, we got a question. What would you use the small loop to treat? Migraines, or is there a special attachment for that? Would you use a small loop to treat migraines, or is there a special attachment for that? Well, David, good question. Basically, the small loop is fine, and you would put it at the base of the head. Some people put it over the head when they treat for migraines. We always recommend treating the feet, and uh, it works very effectively for that. People find their sweet spot for treating their migraines, whether it's their shoulders, their low neck, wherever it may be. You want to treat as soon as you feel something coming on, most certainly, but there's not a special attachment for that. Uh, the attachments are very flexible and most any attachment will work for that type of treatment. Great question, uh, David, thank you for asking. Um, is this safe, Kathy asked the question, is this safe for joint replacements? Uh, most certainly, uh, there are no contraindications at this point for implants uh, or anything like that, and uh, as my uh, sister-in-law just had her knee replaced, her second knee replaced, she has a semi, and uh, she's been using it regularly since she uh, had her replacement, uh, I guess, two weeks ago now, and uh, we were there last week, and she was up and around and uh, being very mobile and feeling real good uh, at that point. It helps with the inflammation uh, reduction, which allows for better mobility, better movement of the joint, and, uh, but there is no contraindication to use it around an implant of that type. People always ask the question, can I use it on screws and bolts? It's not going to loosen any screws or cause anything to, to loosen up. You always want to check to make sure that people are comfortable, do a tent sample treatment uh, to make sure that everything is fine. Many of you have probably heard this before. The only time that we've really had any uh, issue was a woman uh, had a port, if you will, or what I call the, the tip of a needle implanted in her breast as a target for the uh, uh, radiation treatment, and that was so small, so minute, that with 
uh, some treatments it tend it would get warm. And so we check, uh, make sure everything is comfortable. But great question, Kathy, and most certainly you can use the device uh, normally around uh, implants and replacements. Certainly, if you have questions, check with your doctor, and uh, they'd be happy to uh, bring you up to speed and help you uh, with that. Any other questions, uh, please just put them in the chat box. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, we also have a page. It's the uh, MagnaWave, uh, um, um, MagnaWave Education site. Just look at it on, uh, take a search for it on Facebook. It'll come up and you can see, you can put search questions in there and various things that have been treated or used. The MagnaWave PMF has been used for will come up and you can read about them. We're adding uh, materials to that uh, daily. It's the MagnaWave International Education and Research. And, and so we're, you can actually go in there and search. That's the only issue with the Facebook page here is you really can't search for something. If you don't catch it when we post it, then it, it'll be gone from your, but if you go over to the MagnaWave International uh, Research and Education group and join the group, then you can go in and search for whatever you might want to learn about. And certainly we have a lot of information on our website. Go to the About page, look at Research, and uh, we put everything there. We try to be totally transparent. Uh, we're not out to to attack anybody or anything like that. We, in fact, we, we basically don't do that. We want to provide the information, be transparent, answer any questions that you have, so you get the best uh, device that's for you uh, or best for your needs when it comes to this type of device for health and wellness. Kathy, you're welcome. Uh, again, that was a, that was a great question. So if you have any other questions. Uh, just put them into the chat box, and I would be happy uh, to answer them for you. And trying to think if there's anything else. I've got the education site. The MagnaCon is uh, coming up. I had a couple of weeks here with uh, moving and, and all things going on. I had to go uh, return to my hometown with some, uh, had a family member with some issues. that We uh, missed the webinar on one of the Thursdays, but we're going to get the webinars back up and running here. Uh, very soon, so you can uh, join us for our MagnaWave Wellness webinars. On those webinars, as we we address specific issues, specific things with doctors and people to talk about how they use uh, MagnaWave PEMF in their practices, or how they use it for health and wellness uh, as a supplement, or as a if your doctors can use it differently than, than practitioners practitioners use it, but uh, the webinars are very good. If you have a topic that you'd like for us to cover, simply put it in the chat box here, send us an email, message us on Facebook, and we'd be happy to uh, answer those questions for you and uh, have a webinar uh, about the topics that, that, you're, that you're asking about. And uh, so we look, we look forward uh, to doing that. We, again, we want to provide all the information that, that uh, you like. I'm sitting here looking behind me. i got the little head up there. It's been on my shelf. Now that we've moved and I'm in a different office in our new facility, I'll have to give you a tour of our facility, uh, our building here where we do all of our shipping and everybody's in. We just ran out of space at our other, at our other facility and uh, we were on a lower level and we wanted to get everything on a street level for our clinic and our shipping and everything that we're doing. So all that's here and we're really excited about having our new facility. If you're in Louisville and you want to come see us, please do. Of course, we have hands-on training available, whether you want it for horses, small animals, or people. We're certainly here three or four times a month offering hands-on training. Uh, then we offer other training that's certainly online, and we're here to answer any questions on the phone if you feel that you'd like to give us a call and have anything uh, discussed. So uh, also, again, if you have any questions, uh, give me a shout. Put them in the box here, and I'd be happy to answer them. I'll hang around for a couple more minutes. Uh, the whole purpose of this office hours is to answer your questions and, again, help you uh, better understand PEMF and the modality uh, that we are offering <clears throat> for health and wellness. And I like to do it kind of like an office hours. And so it's just, it's just here to do that. And uh, if you're enjoying this, you might share it on your page so other people might be able to come in and, and have a look and uh, get their questions answered as well. I don't see any other questions coming up. Let me refresh my page here just to make sure uh, that everything's okay and there are any uh, questions before I sign off for the day. Do some other things. You know how that goes. We got to do other things <laughs> all the time. Let's see here. Um, 
Well, looks like that's that's about it. So it's always uh, fun and enjoyable to be here and to answer your questions. Uh, this afternoon, if you're a practitioner, uh, 2 o'clock to 2 o'clock after hour, after office hours, not after hours, but 2 o'clock office hours, I'm now doing uh, in our private practitioner page. Where, so if you're a practitioner and you're watching this, 2 o'clock, I'll be back to uh, talk with you about what's going on with MagnaWave, marketing aspects, uh, things to do. So tune in for that. Uh, we always enjoy doing that in the, in the afternoons. And then again, the wellness webinars will be with us uh, soon. Uh, I think may have one again this Thursday if I can get things worked out. But we've just been trying to uh, get ahead. This big, you know, when you move, it's, it's always it always costs twice as much as you think it's going to cost. And it always takes twice as long as you think it's going to cost. It's going to take, and it's always twice as hard uh, with getting everything squared away. It's just things like it's always been that way. So um, no other questions coming in. I, I'm glad you joined me, and I'll be back next Tuesday morning at nine o'clock for a MagnaWave office hours answering your questions. Thank you for joining me, and uh, have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.